Welcome back to our course on Project 2013. In the previous section we looked at setting up the resources that we're going to use in our building project and I left you with an exercise where I asked you to add a carpenter as a work resource and door and window as material resources and I'm looking now at the resource sheet in example 4 now I appreciate that the term carpenter normally implies a much more skilled resource than somebody who fits windows and doors and in the UK and Australia and New Zealand and various other English speaking countries the term joiner would be used but I believe that term is no longer in use in the USA similarly there's a fairly common abbreviation for a carpenter or a joiner working on a building site of Chippy but you wouldn't use that expression in the USA. So we'll start with this list of resources and we're now going to assign these resources to various tasks in our building project. So I'm going to switch back to the Gantt chart using the button on the status bar. Left hand button takes me back to the Gantt chart. Now I'm going to right click on the task build walls and when I right click one of the items that I can see on the contextual menu is assign resources it's just below the midway point click on assign resources and I see the assign resources dialog which is a dialog that you'll use a lot when you're working with project 2013 now quite a lot of this assign resources dialog we're going to look at later on for instance if I click on the plus sign here where it says resource list options there are facilities there for example to filter if I have a long list of resources and I want to find a suitable resource by filtering I can use the filter facilities I can also look at finding out which resources are actually available for a task rather than being used elsewhere but I'm not going to go into any of that at the moment we're going to do some of those things later on in the course for the moment all I want to do is to allocate the bricklayer to the task of building walls now the very simplest way of doing that is having selected the brick layer is to just click on the assign button and what happens if I just click on assign is that the brick layer is assigned 100 percent that means one brick layer and depending on the cost figures the cost of using the brick layer on that task is indicated here now at the moment I haven't put any costs in, we're going to come back to costs later on, but if I had put a rate per hour and possibly even an additional cost per use, then the total cost of using the bricklayer on building those walls would be shown here. I could go through now and assign more resources to more tasks. The first thing I'm going to do though is to actually close this assign resources dialog and look at the impact of what I've just done on the Gantt chart now you may not quite see the same as me here but if you're still using a default installation of project 2013 you should see something pretty similar and one of the things that's apparent is that you can now see the word bricklayer next to the task in the Gantt chart now exactly what you see in a Gantt chart is something we're going to look at in some detail later on you can customize and format a Gantt chart but basically by default you would normally see the names of the resources that are used in a particular task listed next to the Gantt chart bar now we'll be able to change that later on but for the moment it's actually quite useful because we can see that we've got a bricklayer resource allocated to the task of building walls so let's now use some bricks let's again right click on build walls click on assign resources and this time I'm going to assign bricks but I'm not going to assign one unit of bricks which of course would be 1000 bricks I'm going to assign 12 units because I'm going to need 12,000 bricks for this house now if I use the little rollers here I can go up in multiples I'm going to say I want 12 again if I'd entered a cost per thousand of bricks that cost would appear here but it does say in the units column there 12 and then my units thousands so it's 12 thousands of bricks 
Now you may be wondering what this RD column here is. The RD column is really outside the scope of this course, but basically R and D stand for requested and demanded. And in situations, particularly where resources are shared between different projects and possibly different project managers, you can demand specific resources or you can request resources. And when you're doing that, then this column comes into play. But as I say, that's pretty much outside the scope of this course. So I've now allocated 12,000s of bricks. You can see on the Gantt chart there that that resource is named. And I'm starting to build up a list of the resources that are needed on the build walls task within my house building project. OK, let's close this dialog again. And now let's take a very quick look at the resource tab on the ribbon. On the resource tab on the ribbon, one of the options there the second group along the assignments group is assign resources and if I click on assign resources I get that same dialog again so that's two ways into that dialog in project 2013 in general you can get just about everything from the ribbon and a selection of things from the contextual menu at any specific point so we're now going to allocate the resources to the fit windows and doors task. Note that while this particular dialog is open, you can still select tasks in the Gantt chart. You don't have to close it. So having selected the fourth task, I can click on the resource dialog again. And I'm going to leave you now with this as your next exercise to do because for fit windows and doors what I'd like you to do is to use one carpenter and there are going to be 12 windows and believe it or not nine doors. Now you may think most houses don't have nine doors but this is internal and external doors. So 12 windows and nine doors and one carpenter assigned to that task. I'm going to start you off at example 5, so you open example 5 to do this, and my answer to this is example 6. That's it for this section, I'll see you in the next one.